Good afternoon. Hey, we're going to be doing some, uh, looking at some cannabis strawberry gummies. These strawberries I actually picked directly out of my garden here a couple days ago. I put them in a plastic container just to keep them fresh. Uh, rinsed them off, of course, just to get the dirt off of them. And then I uh, ran them through a sieve and pureed them, of course. And so, yeah, we are actually going to use strawberry juice in this. Love lemon juice and corn syrup. Uh, pick your molds. I use gummy molds, very small ones. We'll see at the end here of it, of course. But yeah, uh, these are three, four days old, maybe, uh, strawberries. I put them in a plastic container. And like I said, I got them all squished, pureed, and uh, stuff like that. So I have just juice. But you can see the syrup, the jello, some lemon juice, and of course some tincture there for us today, here for us today. Really, really straightforward. These gummies are so simple to make. It's unbelievable. But the uh, the largest or the hardest part of this whole thing is actually making the tincture. There's uh, different ways to make tincture, cold, warm. Some make it immediately. I'm old-fashioned. It takes me mm, six, eight weeks to make my tincture. I just the way that I originally started making it. Um, of course, we're going to throw in a little bit of gelatin here to kind of like hold it together and kind of merge it together here for us. But uh, store-bought, this Knox gelatin, I believe it is. Um, and then, of course, Carol syrup. It just takes the uh, sugar crystals a little bit different and it's, it's, it's setting it together. That, that's all the stuff does. You don't have to use it. I just use it a little bit just to kind of like formulate it a little bit differently. I don't know if per se it puts it a little bit more sweeter or not. Some people say it does. Some people say it doesn't. Um, that's a personal choice. I use it on some gummies. Some gummies I don't use it. Just, I, it's just one of those type of deals that you don't necessarily have to use. I use a little bit of acid. This is just, <laughs> as you can see, it's lemon juice directly out of the store. I'm too darn lazy to even uh, go about and um, squeezing my own lemons. I mean, I guess I could. But yeah, uh, just, you can see how simple this is. Just uh, grab a couple tablespoons out of the container and away we go, here for us. So, and, you, and of course, you could buy this, you know, obviously at the grocery store, obviously. Um, Put a little bit of strawberry uh, juice in here for us. This is the stuff that I actually, you know, pureed. It's strained and pureed, crushed up. You know, ran through my little uh, uh, machine here for us. Took all the, try to get as much of the seeds out of it. Uh, I've got people that don't like seeds in, in their uh, <laughs> gummies. Gonna figure that one out. Um, and then basically is the important part here is we're gonna be putting this onto a double boiler momentarily. And the double boiler is so important. Uh, sugar. If you try to do this in just a regular pot, uh, basically you're going to have the sugar from the Jello and the Carol syrup burning to the bottom. Uh, that is not what you really want to have because then you're going to burn. You know, me taste it doesn't make any difference what you do. So you definitely need to have um, uh, you definitely need to have this as far as that goes. It takes a few minutes. It's easy enough to do. It's a double boiler. Hey, it's pretty simple to make one out of pots and pans in your house or whatever be the case. Um, at this point, I'm just basically trying to get it dissolved, trying to get the gelatin up to a certain warm temperature. I don't want to get this thing more than maybe about 100 and 165, maybe, maybe 170. Uh, I want to let it cool down a little bit here for us. Going to pour in some homemade tincture here for us. Uh, me? Uh, yeah. I like to use a lot of tincture. Sorry, people, but um, if I'm going to make gummies, I'm going to uh, spend my life making some gummies. I'm going to uh, put in some tincture in here so that can actually, you know, uh, affect you. And by the way, this, you know, this becomes uh, a half a cup of, of tincture or eight tablespoons. I know people say, hey, that's an awful lot. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's your prerogative. I mean, you could put in one tablespoon if you want. Uh, you could put in a cup. I don't know how that would dissolve, to be honest with you. But uh, at this point, by the way, this stuff is really sticky. So um, if you got your hands going on here for us, I try to get things together, uh, cleaned up a little bit here for us. Um, and basically at this point, I'm just using a real brief uh, motion there just to mix together. I would suggest a whip in the future to put that together. Um, Remember, this stuff is hot. It's still probably about 140, 150 degrees, so it hasn't solidified yet. It can still burn you. I use an offset uh, knife, a uh, cake knife, to put this in. Um, in the future, I'm going to use some different molds. These are just way too small to be playing with. I mean, they usually come out to about 5 to 7 milligrams. 
like uh, THC, but they, you know, it's a little too much for house. I guess to um, uh, to do it like this, I'm I'm thinking of I'm you know doing this video of a, you know maybe I just do it in a glass container, and just maybe just cut them straight up or something because uh, you just you fuss with it too much and you just um, it's sticky as can be, so why fuss with it? Um, and then you have to let it set up and all kinds of stuff and so. Um, the small molds, I, I would suggest the drill molds. Uh, the larger molds, you have to really be careful with because you don't want to go after you know a, a twenty milligram hit of THC or something like that. So you like a sort of uh, maybe five to eight, five seven, five eight milligrams of THC per gummy, which isn't too bad for the beginner. That's maybe a little bit high. For me, it's just like okay, hey, it's going to be a normal day, and I can I can work um, and still be a little bit just. Uh, influenced and relaxed, I guess you want to call it that. So anyway, we're coming up to the end here, folks. You can see they're all completed. I got them on a non-stick sheet. That's a silicone sheet, by the way. You want to do that. Have your stuff where when it dries, it will hard up to all kinds of stuff. Anyway, they've dried, and you can see what they look like. I popped them out. Uh, but I just want to say thanks to everybody that helped out. Uh, my uh, photographers, we filmed it on the left coast of uh, the United States. So thank you for joining me.